Hey everyone, it's Kelsey AK Real with Mrs. B, and I am back today because I was tagged by Lindsay's Frugal Life to do a video on how YouTube keeps me accountable. So Lindsay is awesome. You should go check her out. Uh, she's been killing it by paying off debt, and I love watching her videos. She also is a teacher like I am, and she uses everydollar.com very efficiently. So please go check her out. I will leave her link down below. And she was tagged by Wendy Valencia, so go check out her video as well. She's awesome. So uh, how YouTube keeps me accountable. Now let me tell you, when I first started doing YouTube um, videos, I had no idea how it was gonna go I just thought you know it's a neat idea I've been watching other people and they've been keeping me kind of accountable and um, getting me really into the Dave Ramsey plan and paying off debt so I figured why not I start a YouTube channel and maybe it will help me you know further uh, accountability um, so I just went ahead and did it and I thought maybe I'll make a little money too for that side hustle and uh, it has been so supportive um, other youtubers themselves have been amazingly supportive in my journey um, I have really enjoyed the community here on YouTube especially like the Dave Ramsey community and these um, debt pay like paying off debt um, people in the community uh, I have not actually received like any negative comments from anyone really I'm actually quite surprised uh, but I've been so supportive supported by you guys and it is so nice to like upload a video and get this positive uh, feedback from you that you know maybe it helped you in some way or you saw something that I was doing wrong and you you let me know and then I can make corrections um, or we ask each other questions and learn from one another I mean that is more than anything I could ever ask for uh, being a teacher in real life, uh, I want to make a difference in any way that I can, and I find YouTube to be one of those ways that hopefully I can make a positive impact on the world, and it is so great to see that from all of you. Now, I don't think that without the YouTube channel, we would have paid off so much debt. Uh, watching other YouTubers paying off so much debt has encouraged me to do so. And then the fact that I have to like put it out there for you all to see, <laughs> um, I just want to you know make that number go up and up um, or keep it at a really good percentage of our income being being towards debt um, so the fact that I have to say to you guys how much we spent and how much we're able to put towards debt makes a huge difference I could have easily in these months been like oh you know like we spent a little bit more on this and that um, so therefore I have to take that money out of how much we would have put towards debt uh, especially when we went way overboard with paying for Red Hot Chili Peppers tickets <laughs> However, I start every month giving you guys my budget plan and how much we're going to uh, spend or pay for, towards debt. And I don't want to touch that throughout the month. I, I feel like you guys keep me on track that I can't touch that number because then I will look bad. <laughs> and um, I had to, like, I knew when I bought those Red Hot Chili Peppers tickets, I was like, oh my gosh, not only do I have to, like, tell my husband, who's going to be fine because he loves the Red Hot Chili Peppers, but I have to tell my YouTube fans, like, I have to go on here and admit that I spent hundreds of dollars on tickets. Uh, but uh, you guys are so supportive and I was able to do that and hopefully I showed you that you know I'm a real person and um, I didn't touch how much we put towards debt that much that month. Uh, I took the money out of other places and didn't touch that amount. Uh, so Honestly, every big purchase that we make or anytime I have a conversation with my husband, it's always like, oh, we can't go over, we're close, and then I have to like put that transaction into every dollar and all of my fans are going to see. And like all the transactions I have to do, I'm like, 
oh man, like my last video, I was like, wow, there's a lot of transactions I have to put in, which means that my video is going to be longer, which means that not as many people are going to watch it. <laughs> uh, things like that. I know it's silly, but um, it keeps it holds me accountable. And just an extra bonus is that the more videos I put out there for you guys and the support that I have from you, um, I get a little bit of money from ad revenue. If you guys like what I what I put out there, you know, if you're watching the ads and in, in the beginning of my video, um, I get a very small percentage of it, but it just holds me even more accountable that I can get that extra money. Um, and I want to put content out for you guys and um, keep everyone hopefully on track. So, um, I mean, I cannot express how much I love having this YouTube channel. I know I'm not big by any means, um, but I am so happy to get comments from all of you and seeing that you guys like my content and um, the support that I am giving you and you're giving me is just YouTube is awesome. Thank you for holding me accountable. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, so I would like to tag two YouTubers. Actually, I don't think they've done this tag before. And they're in different uh, stages than I am in um, different goals. So the first one is Freedom on a Budget. And I'm taking her because she just got out of debt. And uh, she's really focusing on losing weight and saving for or paying for a wedding in cash. And so I would like to see how YouTube holds her accountable. And then the other one is Our Life on a Budget. Uh, she's there in baby step number three um, and they've been killing it and they just had to get a new car so I really want to see from her how YouTube keeps her accountable so uh, ladies I look forward to seeing your video make sure to check out Lindsay's frugal life below and thank you guys everyone again everyone uh, for what you do and I will catch you guys soon in my next video bye